Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unfog with Dr. Atahar Parvin. In this session, we are going to discuss what is the syllabus for GPSTR examination. Actually, we have a paper 1 and paper 2, but in this session, we will be discussing only paper 2 syllabus. Okay, so if you want paper 1 syllabus, please do write in the comment section. We will make another discussion video on it. Right now, we will focus on paper 2 syllabus for both PM and CB method aspirants. So this is the syllabus uh, PDF file and this is in Kannada. Let me go for uh, English language syllabus. Mm, this is the one. Let's start with the mathematics syllabus. See friends, uh, as I have been telling to you right from the uh, first discussion video of GPSTR, both the CB method aspirants and PM method aspirants should prepare for maths and science and science includes physics, chemistry and biology. Okay. So that is how the exam pattern is there for GPSTR. Okay. So if you have uh, not watched my previous videos on exam pattern, please do watch the uh, video especially on exam pattern. You can find the video by following the playlist of this class. Okay. So talking about maths syllabus in mathematics, you need to prepare for number system, real numbers, sets, progression, commercial mathematics, statistics, permutation and combination, probability, basic concepts of algebra, polynomials, linear equations, exponents, then quadratic equations and basic geometric ideas, then triangles, quadrilaterals, polygons, circles, mensuration, trigonometry, coordinate geometry, symmetry and matrices. Okay. So this is the full mathematics syllabus for GPSTR for both PM and CB method aspirants. Okay. So this is the syllabus we are also following in order uh, in our GPSTR course which is to be uh, starting from December 1st okay so if you have watched our previous class uh, uh, you will have seen the duration of the course and uh, you can also see the schedule of the course you will get the link uh, below this video okay in the comment section also you will get it uh. so this is the syllabus for mathematics and uh, both uh, PM and CB aspirants should prepare for these topics okay they have given ref reference books also. Uh, they say that uh, NCRT class 6th to 12th textbooks uh, or Karnataka board textbook for class 6th to 12th. Okay. So all these syllabus is covered in those textbooks. Okay. Then moving on to uh, science uh, syllabus. I uh, will go for the English language part. Uh, this is the one. See, this is for uh, both mathematics and science teacher, that is PM method and biological science teacher, that is a CB method aspirants, okay. Uh, now, this is a physics syllabus. In physics syllabus, we have measurements and units, magnetism, electricity, dynamics, gravitation, heat, optics, sound and universe, okay. So, this must is for physics and uh, talking about chemistry. We have structure of atom, classification of elements, chemical bonds, electronic configuration and molecular behavior, matter, chemical reactions, acids, bases and salts, carbon and its compounds, metals and non-metals, chemical properties, solution, chemicals in our daily life. See, this syllabus is a similar to HSTR but the problem is in HSTR PM method aspirants will not prepare for chemistry and biology and CB method aspirants will not prepare for maths and physics but here in GPSTR both aspirants should prepare for physics, maths, chemistry and biology. Okay so that is the main difference. Okay then talking about biology syllabus uh, they have given living world, life process in plants, reaching the age of adolescence, life process in animals, natural resources, ecology, soil erosion meaning, pollution, water, greenhouse effect, ecosystem, 
cytology, classification of organisms, evolution, human evolution, microorganisms, tissues, genetics and animal resources. Okay. And uh, list of books, uh, they have not given in English. They have given directly in Kannada only. Anyway, I will tell you the meaning. Uh, list of suggested books. Uh, Karnataka Rajya Pathya Pustaka Mandaliya Arane Rinda Hanneridane Taragatiya Pathya Pustaka Galu Aru Rinda Hanneridane Taragatiya NCRT Pathya Pustaka Galu Millennium Samanya Adhyayana 2022 HRK So one though they are telling about 6th to 12th NCRT or Karnataka Government Textbooks Another they are telling about Millennium General Studies HRK book, they are giving year 2022, but now you should be reading for year 2023, okay? Because this syllabus we have taken from uh, previous, that is a 2022 GPSTR uh, details, okay? So, this was all syllabus of a PCMB. Now, we have done something very interesting. Uh, we have uh, made up differences between pm and cb method question paper as the syllabus is same but uh, uh, we need to prioritize the subjects right uh, as i have been telling in the previous uh, videos also that uh, maths will be more in uh, pm method question paper and uh, biology will be more in a uh, cb method question paper so maths will be less when compared to PM method question paper but what does it actually mean so I thought that few aspirants might have get confused with this statement that maths will be more and maths will be less so we have analyzed 2022 question paper of GPSTR for both PM and CB method aspirants and then we have made this sort of a exam pattern plot for both the PM and CB method aspirant question papers. Okay. So let us see how it is. First, though, uh, MCQs will be there, right? That will be for uh, one mark and they will be 50 questions, right? So in that 50 questions, for PM method question paper, that is a mathematics science teacher question paper, we have uh, 21 maths questions among 50. Okay. And rest all questions are from science. Okay. So rest all questions means 29 questions from science and 21 maths questions are there. Okay. This is for PM question paper. But in CB question paper, you can see that only 8 maths questions are there. And rest all 42 questions are from science. Okay. So in that uh, few questions are from methodology also. Okay. Maths methodology questions they are asking for both uh, PM and CB uh, aspirants. Okay. Now my concern here is though there are only 8 maths questions for CB aspirants. CB aspirants should learn maths anyway. Right. Either they are asking 8 questions or they are asking 21 questions. You need to learn mathematics. You need to practice problems. Then only you will be able to answer those 8 questions also, right? So that is my concern. Okay. Now this was about MCQ's question, uh, question part. Okay. Next, uh, as per the GPSTR exam pattern, we will have descriptive part, right? So in descriptive part, you will have a first portion for uh, two marks eight questions will be there uh, and each question will carry two marks here for pm method aspirants they have asked only maths questions okay i'm talking about 2022 question paper they have asked only maths questions in two mark questions whereas for cb aspirants they have asked five science questions and three maths questions okay so either three maths questions or eight maths questions you need to uh, practice mathematics because if you want to give correct answers for maths, then that is the only way, right? And if you don't give correct answer for maths, then you will not be in competition, right? If you want this job, you should learn mathematics, okay? That is, uh, 
uh, the main uh, point uh, which i am trying to tell you is especially for cb aspirants you have to learn mathematics you don't have any other option okay the same way for pm method aspirants you have to learn biology you have to learn chemistry there is no other option because uh, from 50 questions in mcqs 29 questions are from science in that also they will divide okay maybe 9 will be from uh, uh, chemistry 10 will be from biology 9 will be from physics so you have to learn right there is no other option you can't run away from the subjects which you don't want to learn you don't have any other choice for gpstr okay next uh, three mark questions you will have 24 three marks questions for pm aspirants among 24 12 questions are from mathematics and 12 questions are from science whereas for cb aspirants five questions are from mathematics and rest 19 questions are from science okay so cb aspirants should note a point that when i say that 19 questions are from science in that around seven to eight questions will be from physics also okay so cb method aspirants should read physics should prepare for physics you cannot run away if you want to get this job of gpstr you have to prepare for physics and maths both okay like that only pm method aspirants if you want this job you have to prepare for chemistry and biology along with physics and maths okay so next part of uh, questions will be for uh, four marks there will be three questions three questions will be there and each question will carry four marks okay here for pm and cb aspirants they have asked only science questions in uh, four marks uh, portion okay so they have not asked any mathematics question okay in four marks okay so this is the plot which i have prepared by analyzing your pm and cb gpstr 2022 question paper okay so if you want to prepare for gpstr then you have to be careful with this pattern okay friends so uh, before signing off i want to mention you about our gpstr uh, course which will be starting from uh, december 1st this will be our batch one course and the duration of the course will be five to six months and uh, even after the course is completed you will have access to all our classes notes and study material or practice worksheet till your gpstr exam okay and uh, how to enroll into our course it is very easy you have to scan qr code and uh, mail the fee payment screenshot to atahar tet hstr courses at the rate gmail.com see atahar as uh, uh, the different spelling see it is a t a h a r okay so aspirants miss one a in between and uh, they keep complaining that madam we have mailed you but you didn't reply friends I can reply you only if I get your mail okay so I make sure that I reply your mail as soon as possible okay so for that you have to type the correct email ID okay it is a t a h a r t e t h s t r courses at the rate gmail.com okay and uh, this is our whatsapp number if you want to message us you can uh, write message on this number it is 9110558369 or you can mail us okay so talking about the course details we have around 150 hours of classes and notes is given for full syllabus and study material is also given for full syllabus even for mathematics also we are giving a practice worksheets okay if you want to know the more details about this course you can scan this qr code with my name inside it or you can click the link of the course details below this video okay in the comment section you will get it okay and also if you have not cleared TET till now please apply for CTET because the last date is extended it is still first okay so December 1st is the last date to apply for CTET if you have not qualified TET please apply for this because this is a very important exam if you want to write GPSTR eligibility criteria is that you should be cleared in tet paper 2 okay you should have qualified in tet paper 2 okay friends so we have a tet course also 
if you want to join the course you can uh, click the link from the comment section you will get the details there okay friends so i really hope that uh, i have helped you all with the uh, one nice uh, visualization about the question paper from maths science teacher part and from biology science teacher part that is from pm and cb method question paper part okay friends if you are liking my work please like this video and share among your friends and other aspirants and also join our telegram channel and telegram group okay so we can stay connected with that group we keep discussing many things there we clear doubts and queries also and uh, we can stay in touch till your examination okay friends thank you all the best bye